Tonight, a local homeowner is looking for some help after an unusually large water bill landed in her mailbox. AJ Walker has the story. Every time Amy Johnson turns on the water, she's thinking about her water bill. It's $13,000. You heard it right, $13,000. How is that even possible? It transferred to me when I bought the house. The owner before and maybe a couple of owners before that one, I guess it all added up. No one ever paid the water bill. So when I bought the house, I got the bill. Amy says she bought her house cash and didn't go through a realtor or have a title company do a search. So she never knew that this massive bill would be waiting for her when she became the new owner. I didn't find out until I called to have the water turned on. So I just started calling around trying to get some help and the water department said the best they could do is give me $400 off the bill. Amy says things turned around for her when she found out about the new Lifeline Plan program from Detroit Water and Sewage Department, distributed through Wayne Metro. It's a new income-based water affordability program. They approved me for it, and they said they was just giving me $2,000. And I'm like, just $2,000? I thought it was going to be thirteen. dollars I thought they was going to wipe it away. She was still stressed about the other $11,000 she still owed. I'm just looking for another miracle right now. We reached out to Wayne Metro to find out if there was any more they could do. They said they'd look into it. They followed up to say that Detroit Water and Sewage Department will take care of the remaining balance. Amy says while she's grateful for the relief, she thinks about others who may not qualify to get any help if they're in the same situation. The system should be different. You know, when you buy a home, they should wipe that bill away from for whoever made the bill or, you know, or let that bill follow them not a new owner take on the bill. That's, that's, I don't feel that's right at all. In the future, what would you do differently so that something like this doesn't happen to you again? I would go through a realtor and let them do all the work and I just sign on them when I know everything is okay, A-okay. Since our interview, Amy sent us her latest water bill. It's now $13,030. She's just waiting for the new assistance to post to her account so she can finally be at ease. Reporting in Detroit, I'm A.J. Walker, Detroit Now News.